Hello there, we are Dental Wood and you are here to know about indications and contraindications of tooth extraction. So before that, do you have any idea how many teeth are there in the world? Let's take a look. So well according to this population number in 2019, ideally we should have this many teeth. But we are not living in an ideal world, isn't it? So let's take a look at how many teeth are left in the world. I mean, we can't do that, right? So here you are to know more about indication and contraindication of exodontia, aka tooth extraction. One of the most important things about extraction is to know when not to do it and when to do it. So let's take a look into when you should execute a tooth. The indication of tooth extraction. You have to remove a tooth which is hopelessly carious and which cannot be saved by restorative procedures. Teeth associated with periodontal diseases and ended up in bone loss and reduced ridge surface area are indicated for extraction. Infected roots and root fragments are indicated for extraction. Teeth interfering with placement of partial denture and bridge or any prosthesis. Over-retained deciduous teeth that prevent normal eruption of permanent teeth. Teeth which are misaligned and cannot be corrected with orthodontic treatment. Teeth which are resulting bony pathology like osteomyelitis. In patients with oral malignancy, poorly maintained teeth should be removed. Impacted tooth supernumerary teeth, tooth in the line of fracture, fractured root, teeth that cause trauma to the soft tissues even after the trimming and grinding. All these can be removed. Now let's take a look into the contraindications of extraction. These are the conditions where you shouldn't extract a tooth even if it is a must. There are few factors you should be careful of. Local factors and systemic factors. Local factors are local to the tooth and its surrounding tissues. If there is a local infection, you shouldn't think about extraction right away. The next contraindication is in the situation of gingivitis and stomatitis, acute pericoronitis around wisdom tooth. If there is sinusitis, the extraction of maxillary molars and premolars are prohibited. No extraction in irradiated jaw since it may cause osteoradionecrosis because of low vascularity. Systemic factors are the factors within the system of human body. No extraction in case of uncontrolled diabetes mellitus since the healing is too late to appear or delayed. Cardiac issues like hypertension, coronary heart disease and septal defect etc. complicate exodontia. In pregnancy, avoid obstructive complications in the first and last trimester. You want to extract, do it in the middle trimester. No extraction for medically compromised patients, patients on steroid, patients with bleeding disorder, psychosis and neurosis can cause trouble during extraction prevent prolonged postoperative hemorrhage in patients on anticoagulant therapy by not doing an extraction. Patients with liver disorder like cirrhosis hepatitis can cause bleeding issues. No extraction for patients with a toxic goiter. So here you go, these are the indications and contraindications of exodontia. We are looking forward to create and bring you such videos related to dentistry. So don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Stay tuned for more exciting videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment your opinion below. And we are very dedicated to create such videos for you.